Hi, welcome to the Education Law Virtual Classroom. This lecture illustrates the application of the principles of non-discrimination and equality in education with examples from the publication Dimpna Glendening's Education and the Law. The principle of non-discrimination is the basis for building inclusive societies. The Convention Against Discrimination contains the general principles of non-discrimination and the prevention of discrimination in the field of education. Discrimination violates the rights of children. In the application of the non-discrimination principle, the judge examines whether one person has been treated less favorably on a prohibited grounds than another person in a comparable situation or whether a specific practice is imposed on a person which places that person at a specific disadvantage by comparison with a similarly placed individual. Some examples. When alleging gender discrimination, the comparison must be between a man and a woman in similar situations. When alleging religious discrimination, the comparison must be between an individual with a religious belief and one who does not have such a belief or holds a different religious belief or religious background. When claiming disability discrimination, the comparison must be between an individual with a disability and another without such disability or an individual with a different disability. Discrimination may be direct, indirect or by association with another person. Indirect discrimination occurs when in practice a substantially higher proportion of members of one group are put at a disadvantage in comparison with other groups. Indirect discrimination targets the effect of a rule or practice. An example. Employment practices may be prima facie neutral, but in practice are met by persons from different groupings with substantial disadvantages from members from a particular group. Legislation prohibits discrimination in employment in relation to access to employment, conditions of employment, training or experience for or in relation to employment, promotion or regrading, and classification of posts. It is unlawful for an employer to discriminate against an employee or prospective employee subject to specified exceptions in the legislation. There is a considerable body of case law relating to non-discrimination in school settings, including in interviews for teaching posts, in denial of a permanent teaching post, in promotion within the school, in the allocation of duties. With regard to students, school is prohibited from discriminating in relation to the admission or the terms or conditions of admission of a person as a student to the school, the access of a student to any course or facility provided by the school, any other term or condition of participation in the school by a student. The European Court of Human Rights has dealt with some discrimination cases in education as well. In the Belgian linguistic case of 1968, the court ruled on the effect of the use of languages in the education system in Belgium, the place of residence of the parents, and access of some children to schools with instruction in French, located in the six communes around Brussels that have special linguistic status. In DH and others feed the Czech Republic, Czech Roma citizens complained that their placement in special schools was made based on race or national origin, in violation of the principles of Article 14 of the Convention and in conjunction with Article 2 of Protocol No. 1, the right to education. They claimed that they were subjected to less favorable treatment than other children in similar conditions, without any reasonable and objective justification. In Timishev against Russia, Children were prevented from attending lessons in a school in Nalchik, which they had attended the previous two years, because the applicant was unable to provide a certificate of forced migration in Chechnya, 